My respect and honor to our special guests, Sri Raja Semi, Raja Sri Gra, and IPS DIG range. Our honored guest, Sri Kumar Ranitkan Ayas, is he doing some? SB doing some? President Ian Hugh and his lady wife, Reverend Achu Chang, Executive Secretary, CPLT. <coughs> Mr. Kevin Hunter, President NSF, and his colleagues, Reverend P. Akong Pastor, YBCDD, President ENSF, and his colleagues, President and colleagues of all six federal units, Tobashis, GPs, officers, ladies and gentlemen, at the very outset, I, on behalf of the Eastern Nagaland Women Organization and on my own behalf, bring a warm greetings to one and all. I stand here grateful to God for this life and grateful to ENSF for this platform to share a few thoughts on this seventh general conference. How joyful I am to be representing the whole of Eastern Nepalian women organization through this in more responsibility. I convey our hardest congratulations to the ENSF lead by the president for successfully completing its tenure, and I know that it was all the, by the grace of the Almighty and the hard work and dedication put in by all of you. I believe while working, you might have come across many difficulties, hurdles, but nonetheless, it has led to a beautiful destination today. Togetherness is the desire we all get. Being rooted in oneness is a picture that we all have wanted for too long. Because division has the only brought extreme competition, hatred, and restlessness which scrapes human society. We deserve peace, security, happiness, development and prosperity. For we are created to procreate and to prosper. We are created to thrive and not to extinct. Our leaders, our forefathers, have always talked about our truth and our unity. They have never told us about division and hatred, but only to love working and stay together. Nation becomes deprived, development becomes impossible, and life becomes discontented without peace and unity in the land. In every generation, peace has only came true. If for personal sacrifice and investment without bargaining for other options. Today, our unity needs a stable place to stand and witness. Even unreasonable reason has become to weaken our commitment to peace and oneness. Development was never meant to dilute our identity and unity, but we have made criminal out of developmental activities because of our uncontrolled greed. Almost every developmental activities and plans seems to be followed by issues which threaten stable society. We need to be conscious of such reoccurring differences which must be dividing us. We must be conscious of such reoccurring differences which must be dividing us. Being rooted conveys a message of strong commitment where every individual, family, organization, purpose, political parties, and every tribe makes a conscious 
decision to work on peace and also contribute towards peace. If we do not put our mind and heart to pursue relationship of quality with each other, any system, any agenda, any propaganda or activities may trigger divisions among ourselves. It looks so good when young people talk about respect, space, forgiveness and togetherness. ENSM as an office, as a civil society, as a conglomeration of students, members from each six tribes, led by the official, official, dominate an important position in the Naka society. If only you have willpower, you are sacrificial and are united, then you can achieve much more for our society. Oneness cannot be preserved for too long without respect for each other's identity, good habits, cultural values, and achievement. The desire to uplift each other equal, equally without any reservation must be reality which leads us towards progress deep part. ENSM is grounded for students' welfare since birth. This is a priority which every existing leader and succeeding leader must generate in your mind, in your heart. Students' community becomes a vulnerable section of the society without parental support, guidance, and intervention. Education in this generation has taken a strong shift from the traditional system. Today, Education has become more students friendly. We are given diverse options to build our career and is being made inclusive to involve our skills in the process. But except for some few, many circumstances different circumstances like financial stand, mobile phone addiction, wrong influences, etc. ENSM as the legitimate parents to students thus must continue to involve in their life through different contextual programs and activities to encourage them. Each student should be encouraged to excel, to aspire, to perform, and to become employable, usable in different formats. ENSM does must continue to play the intervening role. ENSF has done much for the students' community. So in voice, grateful. We have fought for their right. We have fought for our preservation and has successfully upgraded our students' welfare in many levels. Lastly, in war always, always has embraced the role of a mother for its people. We still stand committed to this given out love and naturally. We are there for you in your cause, always supporting, always encouraging, gently rebuking and praying. Long live 